And uh, was the Vatican episode on there, and why isn't it on DVDs? Is, oh, is this a popular let question? Let me see that. The Vatican isn't on there? I don't huh. know. Uh, that's uh, what someone's uh, saying. Huh. Let me see. Oh, you know. Well, this is this is a big... video. well I'll be... I'll be <laughs> fucked. We did that show, The Vatican. We did a show in The Vatican talking about the Pope... It's not on here. You know wow. something? I'm going to look into that. <laughs> Tell them I'm going to look. How did oh, that? What huh. the? Maybe it's just left off the wrapper. Right? Yeah, yeah. Huh. What the? I'll fuck? have to. I'll have to look Maybe into. Maybe it's that. a hidden track. What the fuck is that about? <laughs> yeah. What the fuck that's about is uh, we were it. not the ones that put together the uh, the DVD. Uh, so yeah. We did the Vatican. So show. Showtime decided that it shouldn't be on DVD. No, I think I think it was actually uh, whoever manufactures this. Yeah, it was clearly just. Uh, uh, yeah, this is. So is it on there? Just not listed. Look at this. Look at that. What does it say right there? Made in Mexico. Oh, that's what it was. That's what it was. Oh, it was those fucking. The that's why again. the Arizona law is yes. so important. They will take away. And, and tiny bullshit. and tiny print says does not include the Vatican episode. <laughs> <laughs> that is bizarre. Who made the decision? I should not put that on there. Uh, the 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 truth of the matter is, and what this the is. Fuck? I That's was not TV, told eh? about it until you the, your first the DVD came copy. out. Wow. And that reaction that you just saw of me doing that was not true. I knew it wasn't on there, but the original one was true. We're telling I go like, Wow. What? I guess they didn't put it, they didn't, uh, what the, what, what? E and we sent uh, an email to uh, Showtime that, that said, what the fuck? Wow. And it came back saying, we left it off. And then the fans went, you know, you fucking pussies, how could you? Because, yeah, you know, yeah. well, that's what, what, your names what, on what it. is the word you see right there? Yeah. You know, everything is it's my fault. It says ten. my name there. And I agree with them. It is my fault. I should have said to Showtime, you know, when you put out the season, put all the shows no, on yeah. there. <laughs> me, I didn't think to say now, that. Now, you've been in entertainment for a very long time. Are you numb to that whole thing at this point? When people are fucking with your work, or you know what I mean, it still obviously bothers you. But are you kind of sure. uh, are you kind of numb at this point? Like they're gonna do what they're gonna do. You you have to realize that they do own it. You've made the deal hmm. to uh, to sell, and you guys have had run-ins with the Catholic Church. Yeah, you know you know that they have uh, an inordinate amount of muscle, and people are afraid of them for which 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 I think is a real disservice to Christians in this country. I mean, I look at the mail that comes in, we have said scathing things against Christians and the overwhelming majority of the letters and you can back me on this say, you know, I'm a Christian I believe that Jesus Christ is a savior, but I love you guys, love what you do, think mm -hmm. you're really funny, you present your point sincerely. Those are the letters we get. And when you do something like this, it makes it look like they're fucking whack jobs like other religions we won't mention. Yes. You know, it makes it Islam. <laughs> it makes it look that way. And the fact of the matter is, if I show you the mailbag, there are a huge number of letters from really sane Christians who believe believe in the marketplace of ideas. What? And the fact of the matter is that I'm an atheist and a hardcore one, and I listen to gospel music, I listen to Ray Charles, I listen <laughs> to Christian music all the time, and I enjoy it, and I respect their right to do it, and the passion and the sincerity touches my heart. That's what the marketplace of ideas is supposed to be. And when people mm. in power get frightened, they not only do it, they don't do a disservice to atheists, they do a disservice to Christians. I mean, I really see it as backwards. What was the problem that they had with the did episode? They give like, you what, did you do, what did you do in that you episode? You mean that whole that thing I just gave didn't deflect you? You just no. sat there nodding, looking I, right at me and go, I'm I've got the follow-up, Mr. I President. Just know. And what about the oil spill, Mr. President? No, but uh, health care is uh, going well. <laughs> <laughs> You're just that asshole, aren't there you? Had a, yeah, there had to be something in there that they were like, mm -hmm. <laughs> because if it's just you with an expose on uh, the Catholic Church, uh, yeah, those have been done without people freaking Abs out. And absolutely. Blending. So there and had to really, be something in there. <laughs> there's, there's, there's nothing in there that is uh, uh, lawsuit worthy. There's nothing in there that hasn't been covered since. Mm -hmm. What's the most but, outrageous point you make? Uh, the most I, outrageous I didn't see that point episode we made is that maybe 
the Catholic Church did some covering up of child molesting by some priests. Well, of course they did. Oh, Tremendous oh, amount. Of course they did. Now. And so fucking what? Bernard Law that was given a, a, fuck, a better position right. in, in somewhere. Everyone knows in Rome that. Now. At, at this it's horrendous. Point, yeah. And the, did Showtime give you an explanation? Because you're Penn. You're not some schlub. They, obviously, they, had, they couldn't just say to you, ah, we didn't feel like it because of who you are. They had to tell you, look, this is what we oh, felt. You, 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 you guys, I mean, you guys don't have to have this explained to you. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Yeah, you're right. Well, that's why we bring it I up. This we, we've shift, lived, yeah. we've lived this it's, it's, over it's, the years. That's frustrating. It is that's... you. You love doing your job more than anything. You love having the platform to say what you want to say. It's yeah. their money. It's their decision. Uh, the sh the freedom that Showtime has given us has been overwhelming. They don't do any sort of editorial tampering with the shows at all, and they get little bothered by something, and they pull it, it, it you, you have to say, it's not the government, it's not censorship, yeah. Yeah. and we're certainly welcome to do, I mean, we have the First Amendment intact, we can do that whole episode and more on some other place, you're welcome to do that, so constantly, uh... I, you want so much to just be a uh, raging crusader fighting for truth, but the truth of the matter is you're working with people who are very good to you and treat you very well and have a slight difference of opinion on one thing. And I, I know I watched you. I watched you guys go through it. Everybody mm. did. Yeah, and that's a good uh, one I too. think. I think I could have sat in either of your chairs and played it exactly the same fucking way. Yeah. <laughs> was, it, was it kind of the case to pick your battles? Like, you know what? We, we're a little annoyed about it, but they are good to us overall. So uh, pick your it. battles is, is, is a little more cynical than I'd like to be. It's a little more like you're working at a 7 Eleven and then the other well, guys cleaning the slurpy machine <laughs> and you don't like the way it's being done and you go, oh, come on. And he goes, ah, you know, fuck you. You know what? You know what? One other, I mean, it's, you know, it's, it's much. You don't realize that even freedom of speech comes down to who left the dirty yogurt dish in the in the public <laughs> kitchen. You know, it all comes down to that. Sure, but uh, what makes it easy for him to? He knows the episode's out there, so he's yeah. able to do it. It is, yeah, and, and expose the Catholic Church, you know. And it's, and it's a good episode, and that's one of the reasons mm -hmm. the fans get so upset about it. And people have said to me, "Well, then you're okay." That's if good. this one gets it's put up anywhere, and I go, it's not mine. I sold it. Yeah, yeah. You know, I sold it to somebody. It's good for you. You know, after uh, you, it's uh, good for the show. Yeah, yeah. you know, it probably is. Uh, and it's a really good episode. You hey, know? Uh, and uh, I was shocked when you just held this up to uh, me. Hey, <laughs> yeah, I saw that. Are you shock you had? I, I ask you every time you're in. Are, are you doing podcasts or anything anymore? You I'm doing a thing called uh, Penpoint. Penpoint on Rev Three. That's really cool. I, I've done I've done pod stuff before, but this they're doing a lot of um, editing on and putting in a lot of information. Because you're not doing radio anymore, unfortunately. Uh, no, I'm not. And it's uh, he was here. He I, was on in New York. It was yeah, great. I, I loved. loved I most love doing it. But I, I, you know, I do full time shows in Vegas, and I also um, I have two young children, and it was just. A lot of time, you know. You you guys know. Mm -hmm. you, Dude, know you, you were you were great on the radio. Well, thank you, you were, so much. You were thank a great you. He's listen. pulled up. He's pulled up. Penpoint here. So is that? It's sort of like your radio show, very right? Much so, okay. Very much so. Very much so. You know and what? Let's. We should turn people on to this. I would. I would check this out. It's yes, on uh, Penpoint on Rev Three. Rev Three. Okay. Does, yeah. Teller, yeah. does Teller ever want to? Like three. at this point in the career, does he get frustrated because he's not heard, or is he totally cool oh, with no, being no, Teller? Teller just did a wonderful production in Macbeth last year. Uh, that might actually be moving into Manhattan. He's doing a show with a uh, with a local guy named uh, Todd Robbins, who you may have heard of, who's uh, does a lot of sideshow stuff. But they're doing a show called Play Dead, which is a uh, which is a spiritualist uh, uh, manifestations and so on, kind of a, a scare show that he's working on. And Teller's always directing and always writing, so he might get frustrated if he wasn't doing stuff. Right. But he's yeah. doing stuff yeah. all the time. He, he plays it perfectly too. Before we let you go, uh, the oil spill you got anything on that the only thing i have on that i mean it's a horrible catastrophe tragedy and you want to blame people and i just saw this thing on facebook where they were going they did a facebook group called uh, boycott bp yeah. 
And I thought, you know, 11 people have died. Their company's being destroyed. They are vilified by everybody. And I guess these picture, people picture that the guys at BP are going, okay, oh, shit. Not a Facebook They're page. They're boycotting us on Facebook. <laughs> we better clean this shit up. We better clean it up now. Oh, they're going to boycott us. The worst thing that's ever happened has happened to them. The pressure they're under is... And you can hate them all you want, but the hate doesn't come near the fact that 11 people died. Yeah, yeah. And I don't... I mean, working with me, the number of people who've died has been zero. <laughs> I, I can't imagine the horror they're going through. And I know that... that People are freaking out and saying, how can you defend BP? There's no defense involved. It's just straight compassion. Yeah. And we've got a horrible disaster. And I hate to say this, and I think people get uh, just get ripped apart for saying this, but I don't know what mistakes they made, but I just do know that bad